Hi, I'm Stephen Hearn from Archery Splays, and today we're going to look at the 50th and edition of the Bear to Traditional Hunting Recurve Bow. Now, when I started in archery, Bear was a big name. They had compounds, and my dad had a whole pile of them on the, on the wall, which he used to shoot with fingers. And they were like six wheel bows, and they were very cool. They were called a Bear Tambourine, Tambourine, something like that. Very cool bows. I don't know where they went, but they came in black and they also came in white and Dad had both on the walls. Now, he also had a series of recurves on the walls and you're kind of wondering how he got into archery because these were covered in my Dad's house, these bows. Now, this bow here is a 50th anniversary edition, so it's been around for 50 years. Now, when I started archery in 1982, there was a guy in my club, and what's this got to do with the review? He was shooting one of these bows, but it used to come in a target edition, which was all white, clipping limbs, and the limb adapters were white, and I thought, that is such a cool bow. So 50 years on, Bear still makes these bows, and they're really hard to get. So yesterday I had my Bear shipment in, and two of these bows came in. So I haven't even put them online yet, and literally two bows come in. Anyway, guy come, one of my customers comes in today and he loves recurves, traditional recurves, and he's got a, his wife probably thinks he's got one or two, but he's got quite a few traditional recurves, more than he needs, and he loves recurves. And I said, we've got this bow in you'd be interested in. And he looked at me and I said, I said to him myself, I said, you know the bow I'm talking about? And he looked at me, I'm like the 50th edition. Um, and this is it here. Um, anyway, so he showed the customer this bow and he purchased it. Now he had no intentions of buying this bow when he walked into the shop. He didn't know he had it. And literally he saw it and it's like this, like this is it. Like there's two of them, like there probably will never be anymore. Like because like right now if I order one from Bear, it'll probably be another six months. And it will probably be the 2022 version before I get it. So this is what it looks like. Um, now, I think one of the things, if you're like into kind of collecting bows, into unique bows, um, Predator used to, they had an anniversary edition bow for their recurves. And at the time, you're like, oh, look, it's a nice bow. It came in a wooden case and it was very nice. At the time, you thought, oh, yeah, that's fine. I'll pick one up later on. And then the company goes out of business and you're like, God, I wish I had one of those. And I had two second hand. And I think I sold 10. I think I sold 10 of the 50 main. Um, anyway, one of those two went back to the US. So someone in the US purchased one of those from me. So this is the 50th edition Fred Bear takedown. Um, so they always had this compass in. And yes, it does point north. Um, serial number, the Fredbear little emblem there. So it's basically, I mean, they've changed the, the design itself. These are for the two-piece bow quiver, which bolts on there and there. This is the limb system. This is pretty much unchanged. This is such a cool bow. It was such an inspirational bow. Like if you could afford it, you would have brought one. And I could never afford one. And even till today, it doesn't matter how many cars I've got, I was like, this bow is just, it's just such an inspirational bow to have. It's cool. So let's have a look at the limbs. So he rings up his, his mate who loves traditional bows as well. And he says, there's two of these bows. Do you want the other one? His mate goes, yeah, I'll have it with two sets of limbs. So that was the two bows. They never even made it to my website. I haven't even actually priced them. So you're saying, well, how did you work out a price for the customer if you didn't price it up? I think we just charged him like the old price. So it would have been a good price for it. Um, so yeah, so his mate purchased the other one. So I think these are a 50th and an edition limb as well I'm just like looking at it so they come in packaging 
Now the limbs are kind of interesting. So I think the risers come in two sizes. I don't know about the anniversary edition. Um, I think they came in an A and a B riser. Um, basically, it changed the overall. Change the overall length of the bow. So this comes with it. Now it says, Fred Bear, founder of Bear Archery, was known for making quality products since 1933. The original quiver was first introduced in 1963. Um, the iconic quiver produced um, Selway Archery, Fred Bear. So I assume Selway Archery have done a Fred Bear. Um, tribute to the bow which would be cool if you had one of these so maybe that's something i need to look at given that there's a whole two of them um i feel like i sold two literally within an hour and they weren't even online and i was thinking when he brought the first one i was like shall i buy the second one for myself and just put it on the wall in my house um because it's just a thing I won't see again. So this is a limb. These, these are just beautiful limbs. Like they're nice and thin. The shape's unchanged. Except I think from the memories there used to be some laminations in here. But I'll just show you how they clip in again. See how these clip in before. And then this just bolts down like that. Like it's just, it's awesome. It's an awesome bow. So he purchased it today, this customer, and he let um, one of my staff have a shot with, with the bow he just purchased. Uh, he goes, oh, it shoots so nice. Um, that's a little bolt. Um, so I really want one now. Now I'm sold out, I really want one. So that's the 50th anniversary edition, Fred Bear takedown. Look, if you can get your hands on one, you're doing well because I think there'll only be limited numbers of it. I don't know how many of them will be made. Um, but just such, you know, when it when you talk about lovely recurves and you can talk about all the fancy ones, this is an iconic recurve. It's been around for years and years. Um, and it's not like a custom bow where there's one of them made. This is a it's a bow that's been made for you know well, obviously 50 years and. It's always been a top line, top quality recurve. Always available in limited numbers. So there's not like there's hundreds and hundreds of them out there. But they are, if you said, look, I've got a Fred Bear takedown, chances are people would know what it is, they know what it looks like, and they know it's cool. Anyway, that's the bow there. Um, and that's the two of them sold. They didn't even make the website. I think we had customers literally ring for them today and they said, do you have them in stock? And they said, oh, can you hold them for me? And literally we sold them in the first hour of being open without them even being online. I mean, they weren't even unpacked. That's, that's me unpacking the one for this customer. So anyway, I thought I'd do a review. Fred Bear takedowns. Um, I'd better jump online and see what I can order from Bear. Um, so that was five pallets in, and they're shipping pretty good, but the Fred Bear stuff, traditional, takes time to get in. Um, I mean, they used to be like almost a year behind with um, with production of the Fred Bear recurves in general. So, like, if you can get your hands on Fred Bear stuff, it's you're doing very, very well. I'm Stephen Hand from Archery Supplies. Thanks for watching.